In this final video, we're going to go through some uh, steps to get the um, callouts all set up. First thing I'll do is go ahead and launch OpenBridge Modeler. And we need to create a DGN library using our seed file. And that uh, DGN library I'm going to put in a special folder. And then we'll need to set a variable uh, to point to that file. And then we'll have to exit OpenBridge and restart it so that it becomes kind of a system or a workspace kind of um, file. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it I want to create a new file. Again, using our seed file here. And the file itself is going to go... Um, I want to put it at the organization civil level. So we'll select org civil. And bridge defaults, open bridge, and lib and in there we're going to create a folder called draw comp for drawing composition open that and then the name of the file I'll paste in here but this is going to be a DGN lib so make sure you add that extension and save it and that will open that empty file for us. Now that the file is open, we simply need to uh, close the file and set a variable so that the software knows that this is a workspace DGN lib. And now we need to set a variable. And I already have it typed in here in my uh, config file. So it's a, just a DGN lib list. There is a special one that can be used, uh, but we'll just use the general MS underwear DGN lib list for now. And we're going to point to that same open bridge DGN lib draw comp uh, folder and tell it to go ahead and pick up all DGN lib files that are in that folder. And now that we've done that, we can go ahead and reopen open bridge. Okay, now that it's uh, opened that file back up, first thing we need to do is draw a 3D element in here just to kind of use for visualization purposes. So I'm just going to draw a basic slab. And maybe I'll just make it 5 units by 5 by 5. Okay. Fit the view, we can see it. Now we can go back to the drawing mode uh, in the annotate tab and start setting up callouts uh, for various modes here. I'm going to start by rotating this around to a front view, not that we can really tell the difference, and tell it that I want to do a section callout because that's probably the one that will be used the most uh, for our purposes here. So we're going to leave drawing seed set to none. That way it knows it's creating a new drawing seed. And we do want to tell it to go ahead and create that drawing uh, for us. And here's where you can pick whatever um, detailing symbol style you like. And we get some free ones here from the uh, uh, ProStructures folks. And then there's uh, others here as well. So select the detailing. Now this isn't something that I'm aware of that you can change later so make sure you pick the one you want to use here and that's why they need to be configured ahead of time but to do this I'm going to go ahead and left mouse click once there once here and then just drag off to the side somewhere to start creating the section callout and then it says okay what do you want to name the section callout so this is what the users will see in the future from this drop down right here is whatever name you have here so um, Maybe I'll call this a, a bridge section and uh, for our detail sheet. And no drawing scene. And the discipline is going to be bridge. And the purpose here, and they have some predefined ones. We'll just use section view. And we're going to let it create both a drawing and a sheet model. 
and if you want you could select a default scale uh, that would be used here so this might maybe be a half inch or three eighths or a quarter inch or, or some other size per foot that's typically used by the bridge folks uh, for something like that and you'll want to set both uh, scales the same here so this detail scale and this annotation scale of the detail you typically want to match uh, and those are things you can change later on but the annotation on the sheet itself will be full size one to one so here it's using the drawing seed uh, that we created in the previous video and here's that uh, sheet model the detail sheet that we also set up in the uh, previous uh, exercise so and we want the visible edges to be dynamic that way when something in the model changes the uh, drawing updates instantaneously as well so we're going to go ahead and okay that and that will go ahead and create that in this file now a couple of last things to do here is you want to select the title thing here and go ahead and drag these to kind of the opposite corners here, kind of snap them into place. And that just lets the software know later on uh, when it does go to place some section in here um, where kind of the limits are of, of that uh, drawing sheet. And then if you don't want this to be inside of here, you could drag this and set this somewhere else if you like. Uh, but for our purposes it's not going to really hurt to uh, have it there for now. Now back in the uh, drawing model, so if we go to, again it created a drawing and a sheet model. In this model, this is where you could go in, you can hold your right mouse button down, pick reference presentation here, and this is where So this is where the, in the uh, presentation mode you're going to tell it what are the default um, clip volume settings that you want to use uh, for either cut forward, back, or outside that we talked about before. And then you can pick one of these as well. Um, so maybe use just generic cut or there's some others that uh, come with the vanilla open bridge uh, workspace you can say okay this is going to be a concrete cut and the forward view will be a concrete forward maybe not shaded and that will uh, will accept those changes and also push those to the save view uh, for future reference okay that's all it takes to do a section call out and if you wanted to create other um, maybe another section call out for the um, uh, first sheet or, or any other sheet that we had out there we could go ahead and start that again just over and down and we'll call this another bridge section but this is for our first sheet and now that we've typed bridge in there as a discipline that will show up now but for this one, we want to use a different seed model. We want to use it, actually, the, the, the file itself is fine, uh, but we want a different sheet. We want to make sure we grab the first sheet for those purposes. Um, and then we want to set our annotation scale and our detail scale to match. Uh, we have visible edges dynamic. We'll go ahead and open that model. And we can see that it has, in fact, used the uh, other sheet model here so we'll go ahead and just kind of set the location for this like so and again you could uh, go back to the drawing model and set the reference presentation for this one other types of callouts that you can do are things like a plan callout 
There's elevation callouts, and there are detail callouts. And the um, PDF does a really good job of describing each of those. So with that, I'm going to stop here and finish the video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.